we are coming at you from kind of a secluded little tucked away corner of New Mexico out boondocking. Hey guys. We are coming at you from kind of a secluded little tucked away corner of New Mexico out boondocking. Yeah, it's just a BLM spot just a couple miles off of I-10 close to the city, the town of Gage. That's or maybe a town would be more recognizable would be Deming. There's a Walmart in Deming so that's maybe a better place to provision before coming out here if you're coming from the east. So as Brad said it's only a couple miles off of I-10 and the road in was pretty good. I did put our truck into four-wheel drive just for a little assist up uh, one of the hills. Um, I don't know if it was necessary but it just I didn't want to slip on the gravel and the ground was actually wet because it had rained earlier in the day and that didn't seem to pose any problem. We didn't see any muddy conditions or anything like that. If it was a really heavy rain, it might be a different story. Before we got here, our batteries had gotten pretty low, so it's supposed to be pretty sunny here, so that'll be a great opportunity. Yeah, to recharge. On our way here, we stopped in at White Sands National Park. It used to be a national monument, now a national park. And we learned that one of our favorite boondocking sites over there has been closed. Yeah, that would be Lake Holloman. Um, apparently, we read that they closed it due to health concerns with the contamination in the water. You've never been allowed, you know, they've always had signs that say don't swim in the water. But apparently it's so bad that they don't even trust people to camp there. We just kind of popped in for sunset, got some fun pictures, and then continued on our way. There's not a whole lot to do out here. It's just one of these peaceful places with lots of stars and uh, maybe a little bit of hiking around. We've got a fun stop planned after this. We're gonna make our way into Arizona to Hot Well Dunes Recreation Area. There's no reception there, so we're just gonna spend um, the weekend nights there. Yeah, and the internet service here at Gage Disperse has been pretty decent with our booster. That kind of made the difference for us. Yeah, without the booster, it was pretty iffy. It would work sometimes, other times it wouldn't. Um, but our solid RF booster has been really nice. Yeah. peaceful. Yesterday was crazy windy so we did not get outside at all pretty much. So now we're just kind of exploring. There's some fun little hills, mounds <laughs> that you can climb around on. Should we go home? Okay let's go. Let's go, right? Yeah, good boy. Today's lunch uh, looks pretty exciting. We had some leftover uh, rice and beans. Got a little sweet corn in there as well. And then we've got some greens, tomatoes, and avocado to go on there. I'm going to put a little fresh cut mango on mine. And then we've got salsa and hot sauce. Good 
Bon appétit! Alright guys, so we are all set up. Uh, we found a site that's actually pretty private. Um, it's site number four and um, this place is packed. So down by the hot springs there's actually kind of some big lots and that's where the majority of people are. They're just kind of all jammed in there together. There's two hot springs pools and they actually get drained every evening. We talked to the camp host. They get drained around 5 p.m. And then they get filled in the morning, I think it was around 8 or 8.30, but it's not really very warm when it first hits the concrete because the concrete is cooling it down. And when Brad went by uh, yesterday at 9 a.m., the pools, both of them were already packed. So I am beginning to doubt if we're actually going to go and use these hot springs because I don't like to crowd into an already full tub. I don't know, this is it's the weekend, it's just a really busy time to be out here, so. Since we're here on the weekend and it looks like we're not going to get in the hot tub, that leaves me with plenty of free time to work on projects. So um, there's always projects to do, just like with the Sticks and Bricks house, but maybe even more sometimes. Um, our backup camera on the truck is acting up so I'm gonna take a look at that um, maybe I need to uh, solder something uh -oh. we'll see <laughs> <laughs> in addition to doing some cleaning I got Pepper's picture hung up there and I worked on putting more of this corner trim up it's just this kind of adhesive flexible trim. I've still got to put it there and down there. I need to put it up there yet along the ceiling. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, hopefully we can get all that done. Finally got the backup camera working. There was kind of a loose connection in the back where I had taken a shortcut before and I needed to solder that and now it's all good. What's happening? Um, I'm cooking dinner because Maggie is busy working on an episode. Yeah. So yeah, I'm making spaghetti, uh, falafel ball, meatballs, and mushrooms and marinara. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. I'm excited. And by spaghetti, I mean penne. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pasta, whatever. <laughs> whatever.